So here we are in Photoshop, and I'm just going to take a quick look at breaking down some things that could be improved on the model. Uh, so the number one thing I think that probably sticks out is we've got all this interior detail happening on a normal map here, uh, which is quite nice. But then our, our exterior edge here is very, very straight. And you would expect there to be a lot more detail running down along the edge here <coughs> as different larger rocks kind of extrude out and break the silhouette. So we need to take a look at that and that's going to involve a displacement map of some kind. There are some other modeling issues that need to be addressed. Now we need to be a little bit careful. We don't want to go back and do too much modeling work, but there's some easy, easy little things that we can do. Very obvious areas that could do with a little bit more detailing are probably in around here. You can see this edge is very, very sharp running around the edge. Now that's made of wood. It should definitely be softer running around the edge. Even for harder surfaces, we would want to get a softer edge here so we'll catch the light. And these can seem like little things, but they can make a big difference to the feel of the model overall. We've got similar issues kind of going on in here. Uh, these are all too sharp for wood really and you can definitely see it on the handle just happening here this is too sharp around these edges and here as well so the rope here is looking a little bit faceted and that's just probably needs to be smoothed out just a little bit there we're getting faceting just around the edges here as well so the the shape that initially met it didn't have enough polygons to break it up and you can you can see it here as well and sometimes that's nice with rock that you get these kind of sharper edges um, but in this case, it, at, at times it feels like there's just not enough detail in there. So if we go in and we adjust the model a little bit, we'll, uh, we'll start to pick up some extra highlights as the model rotates around. Now the other thing that needs to be dealt with is the fact that there isn't enough surface variation. In this particular scene setup, there's one material that's driving the whole look. And really we want to have multiple materials for areas like the, the rock down here, the rope. Uh, I guess this thing is kind of cement and this is a metal pole that's running through it. Uh, there's some wood over here and again different bits of wood here and potentially like you're looking at this is one piece of wood, this section here with the planks is a different piece of wood, this is another piece of wood, uh, this is either stone or metal here uh, which might be a different stone or metal to these two here. So you're probably talking about six or seven maybe materials. I guess you're going to have to have a separate material for this guy. Uh, just to make sure that we can control the displacement separate to the, the top and the bottom of the well here. So we'll need definitely a bit more surface variation. And if we just do those things, and that shouldn't be too much work, that should help to define the look quite a bit. Okay, the last thing that I would say that we should take a look at is potentially the lens that we're using on this shot. It feels quite squared off. And I think maybe if I went with a little bit of a wider lens, I'd get a little bit more depth. So in other words, uh, with a, a lower lens, I'll, I'll get more space in between here. Now I'll start to pull it out a little bit more and make it look a little bit more dramatic. So there's some things that uh, potentially we can, we can improve without too much work. So we'll jump over into Maya now and we can take a look at addressing some of those.